ask me why. Yung mas mahina pa dyan. Yung mas walang gana pa dyan. Isa pa, why? Yan. Because today, we're finally in the month of February. Ang haba ng January, no? Parang ang dami nangyari sa January na parang isang buong taon na yung siniksik sa isang taon. Yes? But tonight, as we start this month, as we have our first feast for February, I'd like you to know that Jesus is still good. Yes? That Jesus will still work things together for our good. Amen? And so if you believe that God is working all things for our good, why don't you give Him a loud shout of praise? Come on, come on, let's get her. As we say, the strict sightedness of my vision often hinders me to see your plans for me. Our God is good. Come on, sing. I forget that in every season, you're the one who's got me through my thick and thin, but you're still so good to me, for we sing, my King, forever I will sing of the wonders of good God we thank you father for in every season you are good in every high and every lows in every high and every lows of our lives you are good father but most importantly we thank you father for you're always with us praying for us guiding us 
making sure that we get to our goals, that we get to your goals for us, Father. Brothers and sisters, today I may not know what you're going through. I may not know what, where you came from. I may not know the problems that you have right now. I may not know the victories that you're currently celebrating right now. I believe that God is working all together for each one of us good, for the good of each one of us here. So today we should, let's receive His mercy. Let's receive God's mercy in this place. His unending mercy, His unending love. Let's all receive it. And so if you're ready to receive His mercy, receive His love, receive His miracle, receive His blessing today, I invite you now to make the sign of faith in the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, we praise and thank you. For you're always working all things for our good. And even though oftentimes you all, we, we forget and lose track of your vision for us, of your goals for us, you're still consistent. You're still there for us. And you make sure that we steer, that we steer right back to the correct direction that you want us to be. Just for that, we thank you for your very merciful God. Thank you, Jesus. We sing to you tonight, Father. in times of doubt. Remind us of who you are. Remind us that you're still working in our lives. Allow us to see that you're still good, that 
that you're always there for us, that you're always working in our lives, Father. Even though when things seem dark, when things seem helpless, rescue us, Father. Sing it again. for us for all of us to declare tonight that God is not finished that he is good that he's not finished that he's still working things all together for our good and so we sing to him now you're not finished with me you're not finished with me come on sing in sore make some noise for the Lord <laughs> hallelujah praise is Jesus let's give a big hand to our worship team to our worship leader let's give a big hand to Everett thank you for leading us to Jesus tonight good evening brothers and sisters good evening nagulat po ba kayo medyo nagulat kayo tonight we're gonna start something new how many of you are ready to receive something new from the Lord give a shout to him praise the Lord you know, brothers and sisters, tonight there are a lot of things to be grateful for. Amen? Yes? And one of which is one of our fellow servants from Performing Arts Ministry who had a vehicular accident just last week. 
Praise be to God, He has a successful operation yesterday. Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Praise be to God. And as one family, as one community, I'd like to invite you to pray with us. Is that okay? Let's pray, brothers and sisters. Just close your eyes, bow down your heads. We're going to pray for the concerns of our community right now as one family. Jesus, we pray for the full recovery of our brother, Kit Mariano. Jesus, praying for a miracle healing from somebody who has a kidney failure, Lord, from one of our family members here at the feast. Praying, God, for the grant of 100% scholarship for the grace to resist temptation and to be faithful in serving the Lord. Father, we pray for the gift of one true love, for the healing from depression and anxiety attacks. And Father, we pray for clarity and peace of mind. All this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And with faith, we thank you, God, because we know that you answer prayers. God answers our prayers. Amen. So we thank the Lord for everyday blessings and provisions for a closed sale for someone passing the architecture board exams. Praise be to God. Thank you, Lord, for the grace to achieve a required average for scholarship grant for a loving family, for a great job, transform relationship, and for the opportunity to see a better version of oneself. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a big hand. Come on, give a shout of praise. Thank you, Jesus. Can we all sit down for a moment? Let's all be seated. Wow. Some of you may be surprised. We're starting off with a new flow, with our feast. And so at this point, we're going to have something new. Speaking of new, where are our new attendees tonight? Do we have someone new attending the feast for the very first time? Meron po ba? Taas ang kamay. May first time attendees pa tayo. Yes! Palakpakan natin na ating mga first time attendees. Welcome! Welcome to our feast. Can we ask you to stand? Is that okay? Okay lang po ba yun? Let's pray for them. Let's raise our hands towards our new attendees, brothers and sisters, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father in heaven, we praise and we thank you for the people that you've brought here in the feast. Father, we know that this is not by accident, this is not by chance, but you have called this by name. Our prayer, God, is that they may journey with us spiritually here in their family and Wednesday Feast Festival Alabang. Surprise them this week, bless them with amazing relationships healing, success in their work, in their career, in school, and just be with them, oh God, this week. This is our prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Let's give a big hand to the Lord. Thank you. Welcome. Would like to give you a welcome gift later. Before the feast ends, you can actually proceed to our new attendees area. Yan, sila po yung mga nag Kakawai, ay mga magaganda nating kapatid sa likod. Welcome to all our new attendees and also to our feast ambassadors. Thank you as well for inviting them. Let's keep inviting more and more people so that they may experience God's love here at the feast. Now, at this point, as you are preparing for your giving, one of our something new is we're gonna have our love offering a little earlier. So right now, as you are writing your prayer intentions, your praise reports, please do write them because. In a moment, we're gonna have our love offering. But right now, would like to pray for the birthday celebrators for the month. Sino dito yung celebrate ng birthday this February? Palakpakan natin sila. Can we invite you to stand? Birthday celebrators and anniversary as well. Lahat po na celebrate the anniversary. Wow! Praise God. Let's raise our hands towards them, brothers and sisters. And let's pray, Father in heaven, we praise and we thank you for our brothers and sisters who are celebrating their birthday, their anniversary this month, oh God. Jesus, our prayer is that this year may be their banner year, their best year ever in their areas of love, relationship, career. Bless them, oh God, abundantly, prosperously, and surprise them this year with an amazing blessing that you have in store for them. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Happy birthday and happy anniversary. All right, just a few announcements as you are preparing for your giving. Where are all the singles in the house? Make some noise. Nasa na mga singles. Wow. So all the singles in the house would like to invite you to the best retreat ever for singles. Love Life Retreat. 
Batch 21. Ayan ako, excited na excited po tayo dyan. That's happening on March 21 to 22, 2020 at Hospitalier Sisters of Mercy, Muntinlupa. Investment fee is only for 3,000 pesos. You can approach our singles booth right there. Pwede po kayo mag-register. All right, our next announcement is about us being a family. Of course, we don't just like you to attend the feast, but we would like you to be part of our family here. And that is through our light groups. Let's watch this video to know more. Let's give a big hand to the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Join our light groups, brothers and sisters. Be part of our family here from youth, singles, independent men and women, or couples. Please approach our sign-up booth right there. Isulat nyo lang po ang mga details nyo. But starting next week, we'll be posting the numbers of the LG heads with their schedules as well so that you can choose kung saan mag-fit ang schedule ninyo. Araw-araw yan, halos araw-araw. These are the people who will journey with you kung nasaan ka man, tatanggapin at mamahalin ka. Amen? Yes. All right. Now, next announcement is about our youth in the house. Asa na mga kabataan? Yes. We'd like to announce that our youth home is actually happening every third Wednesday of the month. That means for this month, it's going to happen on February 19. Makita kita po ang mga kabataan dyan. What time is our youth home? 5.30. PM. Dito po yan sa ating feast uh, sa Expo Trade Hall. All right, we're also launching something new for our feast. We have a so-called book for the week. Yan. So, ito po ang ating featured book for the week. This is Companion, a Catholic scripture diary. You know, it, as you are journeying deeper to knowing Jesus' reflections in our daily gospel, makakatulong po ito sa ating journey with the Lord. It's available at our book table for only 575 pesos. But today, for the whole year po ito, mga, mga kaibigan, for the whole year. But for tonight, we're launching it with 10% discount. So may special discount po tayo para sa ating companion scripture diary. Laapit lang po kayo sa ating book table to know more. And next announcement is, were you blessed here at the feast? Nabe bless po ba kayo dito sa feast? Yes? Well, habang nagpe-prepare po kayo sa ating giving, just allow me to share one of the great blessings that happened to me recently. Kasi po sa pagbibigay, hindi talaga matatalo ang Panginoon. Amen? Last week when I attended the Mass, I just saw na sa wallet ko po, meron akong last 50 peso bill. That was my last 50 peso bill. Pag in-offer ko po yun, hindi ko alam kung paano ako makaka-uwi sapagkat magkukumit pa ako at mag-tricycle. But you know, just something in my heart just whispered, Sige, bigay mo na lahat. Bigay mo. Give it all to the Lord. So what I did was I gave it buong-buo na hindi ko alam kung paano ako uuwi ng mga panahong po yun yun. And right after that, right after the Mass, when I checked my phone, Praise be to God, cause a client deposited a down payment right then and there. Grabe si Lord, hindi magpapatalo sa generosity niya. And if you want to be blessed as well, I encourage you to give more today. Give more tonight and let the Lord surprise you. Amen? Amen. And right now, we're, we're going to pray for our love offering. If you are ready, can I invite you all to stand? Let us all stand and let us pray for our giving. Just raise your envelopes and put a smile in your faces because the Lord loves a cheerful giver. Let me pray for you, Father in heaven. 
We praise and we thank you for all our brothers and sisters who've been so generous in their giving. Our prayer, God, is that you continue to prosper them. You continue to bless them. Bless the work of their hands, Lord. Bless them immensely in all areas of their life, Jesus. And make, multiply their offering, Jesus, so that they bless more and more people. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Come, brothers and sisters, let's offer with joy to the Lord. As we give our love offering, let's continue to worship our God as we sing. Brothers and sisters, we have made something new this evening. We have done a different format. Tama ba? Nashak na kayo. <laughs> Just to orient everybody, take a deep breath. Because maybe for some of you are saying, Tapos na ba? Ang WFA? Hindi pa po. Our love offering happens now in the middle. Alright? It happens right after worship and after all announcements. So our our format, all right? Pakita pa kayo katabi, pakisabi, reorient yourself. Pakisabi, reorient yourself. All right? So here, we invite you to come earlier. We'll begin still at 7.30 with worship. And worship goes on after worship. A MC comes, all right? And for now, our MC a while ago was Brother Kim who is the head of the events pillar of Create Pillar here in WFFA. Grabbing mag MC, di ba? Grabe. But friends, it just so happened that he emceed this evening. Every Wednesday, we're going to have new people to MC the, sh the, the show, <laughs> the, the, the proceedings, because they will all be leaders of our discipleship pillar. All right? Um, we will be asking our LG heads to do that. And next week, the youth will be leading the feast. All right? So, tignan nyo ang katabi ninyo. Bata ba yan? Sino ang, asa na mga kabataan ngayon? Amen. Yan, dito sa WFA, lahat bata, di ba? Ganyan. All of us are children of God. So, I hope you're orienting yourself. So when the MC comes in, which will be an LG head, a light group head. Pag light group, yung mga hindi pa alam po anong LG, anong light group, this is basically a small group, small support group, all right, here in our, in our feast. And when they lead, they're just going to give announcements, lead some prayers, tell, uh, tell what God has been going, doing in our community, and after that, lead the love offering. Yan. So... Pakisabi sa katabi, alright? And by the way, so ibig sabihin, dapat, by worship time, ready na kayo rin sa LO ninyo. Sa love offering ninyo. Or right after WFFA. Uh, the worship, rather. Be ready with that. No? Okay? Pakitapigan yung katabi, pakisabi maghanda ka na. 
Yan, di ba? So, beforehand, nakahanda na, we want to teach everybody to budget. <laughs> Tignan nyo ang katawin nyo, nagpa-budget ba yan? Ayan. Yung mga ibang na-nervous na, budget? Yan ang pinag-uusapan dito, budget. Oh, kasi we want God to be God of all our lives, yeah? So, we, when we get something, either you're in business or employed, 10% kay God. So, naka-alot na yan. Divided by four. The four Wednesdays of the month. Para alam ko na kung ano bibigay ko. Hindi, hindi, hindi nanganganib yung love offering ko ng Wednesday. Depende kung ano natira. Kasi naka-budget na siya. Diba? Ganyan. So, we'd like to teach everybody that so that you're ready with it for it. We'll give the offering. And after that, we continue with the feast. Alright? Pakitanong ang katabi. Gets mo na? <laughs> right? Nagets na ang format? Yes? Yan. So, servants, I hope that you're also familiar. We're now going into a new era. Why? Ask me why. This is our new series. Brothers and sisters, welcome to the new series entitled... Dawn of a new era. Yan. Wala po tayong kinalaman sa mga kapatid natin na nasa INC. Alright? Alright? Ang dawn of the new era is all about what? Okay? The next thing that Jesus did. We're done with birth of the king. Tungkol kay Jesus at ang kanyang kapanganakan. We're done with his birth. We're now gonna look into 30 years old. He went out into public life. We will now look into the dawn of his public life, his ministry. Do you get this? Remember, we're now dealing with the Bible and we're now getting deeper into our relationship with God. Exciting times coming in and we're starting off well here. May I know again who here has been come, who, who's here for the first time? Mga first timers, ayan, ayan, palapakan uli natin sila, ayan. No, pag first timer yan, dapat pag welcome na welcome dapat yan. So, kung magkatabi niyo, pakisabi, welcome. Welcome, no, and make the person very comfortable. Yeah, all right. We always pray here, and when we pray, we pray from the heart. Amen. Are you ready to be blessed today? Our message for today is no other than this. Could you all read the message for today? And that is this. Ta da. Hindi po yan. Next one. Ayan. <laughs> Ito, everybody, read it. Receive his. Mercy, oh my God. We will receive His mercy. Sino dito devotee ng divine mercy? Divine mercy. Meron ba? Ayan, no? Yung three o'clock. Yung three o'clock. The divine mercy just says this. No matter what has happened to you, no matter what you've done, God loves you. God will accept you. God will forgive you. Amen. Amen. So are you ready to be blessed? Yes, let's come before God. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, stretch out your arms if this is comfortable for you. And with faith, declare, today I receive all of God's love for me. Come on. Today I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today I open myself to God's word so I become more like Jesus every day. Today I proclaim that I am... I am, I am God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world. In Jesus' name, amen. And together, we declare. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Give a hand to the Lord, everybody. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Our talk for the very first series, or very, very first talk of the series is entitled, here, Tough and Gentle. Pagsabi nga ulit, Tough and Gentle. Tignan ang katabi. Tough ba yan or gentle? <laughs> gentle. You know about tough. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no. You know about tough, tough and gentle, no? Sabay, sabay, di ba? Brothers and sisters, the word for the Lord, of the Lord, okay, will all come from one verse for the next four weeks. It's something we've never done before. Dati, every week, iba-iba. Ngayon, isang verse for four weeks. Grabe, no? All right? Kasi mahaba siya. All right? So, we will now deal with this. Why do we want to do this? Ask me why. 
in order that you will go deeper. Magsabi deeper. In order that you will go broader. Everybody say broader. In the, in the understanding of the word. All right? Who is ready for a Bible study here? Raise your hand. You ready? Yeah? All right? You're ready to learn God? Learn about God? Learn Jesus more? Yes? Learn about Jesus more? Amen. So, every time you read this passage, you'll get another aspect about it. Siro dito, nagbasa kayo ng libro. Nung pangalawan yung beses nang basahin, iba yung pagkaintindi ninyo. All right? You got something different, right? You got something more out of it. So, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna munch into the Word of God. Are you ready? Apat na slides to. Tapi ka ng katabi, pakasabi, kaya mo ba? All right, okay, kaya, no? Apat o lima. All right, let's all read. We have left the story of Jesus' birth. We're now looking into how he started his public life. And it didn't start with Jesus. We start with another person, a superstar during his time, known as John the Baptist. All right, let's all read from Matthew chapter 3. Verse 1. So if you have your Bibles, open now to Matthew chapter 3. If you have your apps, your version apps, you can just click and you can go to Matthew chapter 3. NLT, New Living Translation Version. Together. In those days, John the Baptist came to the Judean wilderness and began preaching. His message was, repent of your sins and turn to God, for the kingdom of heaven is near. The prophet Isaiah was speaking about John when he said, He is a voice shouting in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord's coming. Clear the road for him. John's clothes were woven from coarse camel hair, and he wore a leather belt around his waist. For food, he ate locusts and wild honey. Pause. So you can just imagine John the Baptist, diba? Grabe, it's sura niya. Tapos anong kinain niya? Locusts. Sino dito, natry nyo na yung delicacy ng pampanga at saka ng tarlac ba yun? They were able to, di ba? They, they cook certain kinds of locusts or insects. Sino nakatry na nun? Meron ba? Yun, meron, no? Masarap daw yun. Yung mga iba, hindi maintindihan, no? Ganyan. So, yan ang kinakain niya. Plus, he also drinks honey. But it's not the honey from bees. If you read the Bible and they say honey, it's most likely referring to what? A substance they get from date. All right? The date, all right? So the fruit, no? Yung may iba, ibang nasa isip pag date. No? Hindi. Yung date na fruit, okay? All right? And they get something out of it, and that's the wild honey. Got it? All right. Remember, this is a Bible study, so we're trying to understand context. Let's continue. People from Jerusalem and from all of Judea and all over the Jordan Valley went out to see and hear John. And when they confessed their sins, he baptized them in the Jordan River. But when he saw many Pharisees and Sadducees coming to watch him baptize, he denounced them. You brood of snakes, he exclaimed. Who warned you to flee the coming wrath? Prove by the way you live that you have repented of your sins and turned to God. Don't just say to each other, we're safe, for we are descendants of Abraham. That means nothing, for I tell you, God can create children of Abraham from these very stones. Even now, the axe of God's judgment is poised, ready to sever the roots of the trees. Yes, every tree that does not produce good fruit will be chopped down and thrown into the fire. Everybody take a deep breath. Nakakatakot, no? Galit si John the Baptist! Tignan nyo ang katabi ninyo. Mukha bang Pharisee? We will get to know them as we go through this series. But one thing is for sure, one thing is for sure, brothers and sisters. Okay. The Lord has given the message. If you want to receive Jesus, prepare the way of the Lord. Are you ready to prepare your heart for the Lord? All right. Who wants to experience the Lord tonight? Amen. Kung tumaas ka may inyong katabi, pakitapik, pakasabi, sigurado ka. Alright, no? My suggestion is this. Ask me what? A while ago, I was doing LST. I was doing Love Someone Today to one of, uh, to a doctor friend. And this doctor was very analytical. You know, when you have a relationship with Jesus, you just have a relationship with Jesus first person. You stop analyzing the relationship. 
Kasi maraming tao, second person, third person. Are you following me? Yung ina-analyze yung relationship. Eh, pwede yun, paminsan-minsan. Pero kung authentic ka sa relationship na yan, dapat first person ka. Wala kayong bang iniisip. Kasi ikaw talaga yan. Pag kinakausap mo si Lord, talaga ikaw yung kinakausap mo. Yung hindi mo ina-analyze yung sinasabi mo. Sinasabi mo na talaga kung ano nasa isip mo, nasa puso mo. Because he was having a problem with having a personal relationship. You know, when you have a personal relationship, it's simple. Speak from the heart. Pray from the heart. And listen. Hindi pwede yung ikaw palagi nagsasalita. Makinig ka rin kay Lord. He will not speak directly to the ears. Though some may have that gift, he will speak to the heart. And you just need to trust. In one of the talks that we had in the last series, sabi natin, Jesus saved you already. But if you don't believe Him, you won't experience His salvation. Brothers and sisters, are you ready to believe? Are you ready to believe that God called you tonight? Are you ready to believe that God will speak to you tonight? Are you ready to believe that His mercy is ready to receive you? Yes? Then bow down your head, close your eyes, put your hand on your chest, and say this with me. Lord Jesus, I trust in you. Heal me and bless me. Father, I live, I breathe, and I exist because of your mercy. Without your mercy, I die. So today, I open the doors of my heart to receive your healing mercy so that those around me may receive your mercy and drink from your love. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And everybody? Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Give a hand to the Lord, everybody. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. May we come to you tonight. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. With a smile, tell the person beside you, God will speak to you today. Brothers and sisters, I'd like to ask you to partner up with a person. Tradition na natin ito sa WFFA, but I'd like you to partner with a person. Servants, please go beside a person who is alone. All right? Everybody, find a partner. Go. Find for a partner. Go, go, go. All right, pakisabi sa partner, hello. All right, okay, so you know your partner. Sino walang partner dyan, mag-raise ng hand. Hayaan nyo only for this exercise naman, not for life. No? Ayan, okay. Hmm. All right, this is what I wanted to do. Person A, sino si person A? Alam nyo na to, no? Ayan, person A, thank you. Down, person B. Person B, yan. Walang person C, ha? Kasi dalawa talaga. Okay, alright. So, all, we will begin with person? B. B, syempre. Magsimula tayo person B. Person B, raise your hand. Okay, alright. Now, I'd just like to ask you, were you blessed by the Lord recently? Yes? Alright. So, this is a chance. I'd like you to share your blessing. So, we're gonna share your blessing one minute lang. Share your blessing to person a, person B. Person A, you will listen. Huh? Listen, listen. Okay? Right. Everybody, a blessing could be anything that really has what? Been a positive result in your life. Okay? Could be an actual thing that happened that God gave answered prayer, a blessing of a person, a personal event. You know? All right? Now, you might be parang, parang wala akong blessing. Ganyan. Blessing, makikita mo yan. If you become a blessing magnet, you shift to look for blessing. Kailangan yan, no? Kailangan yan, okay? A dawn of a new era is the name of our series. So, kung dati, ne, tignan yung partner nyo, negatron ba yan? Negatron. Alright, no? We want not to be a negatrons. We want to be what? Positron. <laughs> no, we want to be what? 
a blessing magnet. So, let's center more on what works in our life rather than what's not working in our life. Yes? All right? So, WFFA, follow this culture, follow this tradition, and I tell you, more and more blessings will happen in your life. Let's begin. Face your partner, partner B, and share your blessing. Begin. Servants, please check. Baka walang partner yung mga iba. Hanap ng partner. Wrap up. And thank you very much. Palapakan natin. Yahoo! Ang ating partner. Yes. Partner A, your turn now to share the blessing and begin. Wrap up. And thank you very much. Palapakan natin si Partner B. Amen. Ano? Hawakan ng balikat ng partner mo. Pag medyo natatakot ka sa corona, di, harang hagang pray over lang. Position, di ba? Ganyan. Pag sabi, kapatid, or my friend, how will you respond to God's blessing? Yes, blessing. Man, all right? Palapakan natin si Lord. Amen. As you notice, okay, we talked about our blessing. How do you feel? Great, no? Great. Bakit yung may iba? Blessing tapos nainggit kayo, ganon. Nainggit. Bakit siya may ganyan blessing? Ako hindi, no? May iba na yun, no? So you be happy for the other person. Amen. Amen. The more you check your feeling and direct it towards what is positive, the more you will have that. Okay? Now, when we prayed over, or rather, when I asked you to tell each other, how will you respond to God's blessing? That is a serious thing. Pag may binigay sa yung biyaya si Lord, paano mo siya babalikan? Of course, we always come in gratitude. But there's also one thing. Pay it forward. Amen? Alright? Pag sabi sa katabi, pay it forward. Alright? You were blessed, so how will you bless? It's normal for those who do not believe in Christ to even give back. Kahit hindi ka mananampalataya, alright? Kung binigyan ka na maganda, gagawa ka na maganda. Normal yon. Kahit walang, wala si Jesus. Kahit yung mga normal na tao, normal na tao eh, no? Yung mga hindi kristyano, yun ang ginagawa, di ba? So, the thing here is this. What will make us even more, or what will be more for us as Christians is that we pay it forward. We don't just say thank you to the person who has blessed us. We even bless other people. Be a blessing magnet. Alright? Pakitano ang inyong katabi. Partner, who will you bless next time? Yan. Yan lang. Yung mga iba, naninerbius na. <laughs> siya kaya yun? Baka siya na yun. Di ba? Yan. Yung mga iba, nagsasabi, huwag mong kalimutan. Yan. Friends, really, there is such a thing as Whatever you give, you will also receive. So, I'd like to invite you to start making that as a habit. Yes? Amen. How do you feel? Good? Great? Yes, then I'm happy. Ask me why. Because what I'm going to discuss tonight may not make you feel great. <laughs> that much, at least at the very beginning. All right? Ask me why. Let's go now to Scripture. Are you ready? Going back to our verse for tonight. John's message is not very popular. Why? Because the message of God started with this. Repent for your sins and turn to God. Popular ba yan? No. No? Repenting is not a popular thing in the world right now. Walang aamin. Tignan nyo katabi ninyo. Umaamin ba yan sa kasalanan? Sa tingin nyo? Guilty ba? Hmm? Usually, we will not talk about 
negativity. We will just talk about what? Even in the midst of negativity, we'll say, okay lang yan. No? But there's a danger there. Ask me how. For example, you have a friend. And then your friend is getting into gambling, for example. Alright? And he's gonna say, Uy, tumataya ako. Kanya, no? Paminsan, nananalo. Paminsan, hindi. Pero ngayon, medyo sobra na. Natatalo talaga ako eh. Nauubos na yung savings ko. O ano sasabihin mo? Ah, okay lang yan. Babawi ka rin. No? Tuloy mo lang yan. Gagawin mo ba yan? Will you say that? No, if you're a good friend. Do you get me? Now, you might be saying, Brother Jay, where are you going? Are you, are you insinuating that we need to... We need to what? We need to reach out to other people and correct them? Isn't it that too much already? That's their trip. Pabayaan nyo sila. Yan ang gusto nila well, to a certain extent, as adults, we respect each other's decisions, yes? But, if you care for another person, alam ka. I call this the ministry of pakikialam. <laughs> do, do you follow? Alright? Now, how do you translate that in English? I'll leave it to the translator beside. <laughs> Alright? So, the ministry of pakikialam. Yeah, diba? Because, yes, it, it's, it's two-sided, alright? So, there's a time where in dapat hindi ka na makialam because that's their business, not your business. But, if you care enough and you have a proper relationship with another person, do you understand? Then you can, you can reach out to what? To influence. Pagkasabi, influence. For the better. Alright, so for like for example, kaibigan mo matalik talaga ito. No, as in, nauubos na yung kanyang sweldo, nauubos na yung kanyang savings. Tapos nakikita mong nag, uh, palaging na, nagsusugal na talaga. It, it, that, that's your way already. You get there and you say, brother, mukhang kailang kailang mo ng tigilan yan. No? I-limit mo na yan. Gusto mo tulungan nga kita. Hindi kita pakakawalan. Sasamahan pa kita. <laughs> yan. Pero, Pero, ipupull out kita. Ganyan. Just make sure that if you volunteer to help this person, you yourself doesn't get, don't get tempted. Alright? Okay? Baka naman kayong dalawa na ngayon na mga uh, manunugal. No? Brothers and sisters, I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Why do I say this? Because at the end of the day, we all need to care for one another. Alright? And that is in the context of relationship. If you're not a friend, maybe a person who is doing texts, while walking, do you do that? Do you text while walking? Uh, ganyan, no? And then suddenly, meron kang makikita someone is texting while walking and you know right in front of him is a manhole. Alright? What will you do? What will you do? Will you just wait and bring out a camera and say, oh my gosh, this will be great for YouTube. <laughs> no, you will not do that. You say, stop, you're gonna fall. Same thing with all the people that we care for. We don't just leave them. We care enough to say no. To say, hey, it's not okay. It's not okay. Look at what's happening. That is why, brothers and sisters, get ready for the next four weeks, we will do something like that. Ask me why. Because we'll all be John the Baptist. I think you're all familiar now with the character of John the Baptist after we've read the passage, right? He was quite angry at who? The Pharisees and the Sadducees. Because they were doing something that did not please God. And John the Baptist was there to tell, Hey, make straight the way of the Lord. Alright? Hey, you brood of vipers. It's as if saying, Hey, wake up. You know? And we're gonna be like that. Tignan nyo katabi ninyo. Do you think this person needs to wake up? Pagtulog yan ngayon. Talaga, wake up ninyo. Ha? Nakatulog. Are you following what I'm trying to say? We all need to wake up. Yeah? Who needs waking up here? Who needs waking up? Are you sure? Sometimes waking up is not that pleasant. Sometimes it's hurtful. But it will wake you up. Brothers and sisters, this is what, what's going to happen for the next four weeks. Everybody read this. We're going to answer this question together. 
how can we be another John the Baptist and call people to repentance? Oh my gosh. Tapikin ang katabi, pakisabi, kaya mo ba yun? Can you actually ask a person to, to come back to the Lord? Can you ask, tell a person to, come on, repent. Grabe. Kaya nyo man sabihin nyo, repent. Ganyan, no? Now, brothers and sisters, I tell you, this is scary. Ask me why. We don't know how to do it effectively. Actually, we're so afraid to tell a person you're wrong. Right? Yes? We're afraid to lead a person back to the Lord. Una, nahiya tayo kasi tayo mismo makasalanan. Tama? Alright? But that should not prevent us from doing good from other people. Remember, a broom, though dirty, still cleans. I repeat, a broom, though dirty, still cleans. So each one of us can still help other people. Not from a stance of pride, from, but from a stance of mercy. Right? Kasi, ang gagawin natin pangingi alam ay hindi dahil tama ako, mali ka. No. Ang pangingi alam natin kasi mahal kita. I care for you. Hindi kita papabayaan. Alam mo, babagsak ka na. Papasok ka na doon sa manhole. Papabayaan ba kita? Hindi. I care enough to care for you. Tingnan nyo ang katabi ninyo. Pakisabi, do you care enough? Yan na. Yung may barang sabi ng, I care but not that much. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, today, I'm gonna ask you, I'm gonna teach you how to bring people to the Lord. Is that interesting enough for you? All right? But I tell you, believe me, it's so difficult for us to do that because we really don't know how to do that. All right? For example, um, I don't know with you, but I had this experience when I went to confession. Pumasok ako, so guilty-guilty na ako. Confess ako. Father, forgive me, etc. Tapos ang narinig ko, what? Make your voice louder. <laughs> when there was your last confession? Ganyan. Tapos sinabi ko, tapos sinabi na naman niya. And then I started saying my sins. And to my horror, <laughs> what I was saying, he was repeating. No? In loud voice. Kasi medyo matanda na siya. He was quite old and he had hearing problem. So, impurity? What? Impurity? So, oh my gosh. And before you know it, oh no. After the confession, I went out and I, had, I was traumatized. No? Para, para, I'm so gentle. Hindi po ako yun. Hindi po ako yun. <laughs> Grabe. Wait, let me have a disclaimer. I'm not putting down confession, huh? All right? Confession is a great gift from God. Go to confession. It's, you will be blessed. You'll be healed. Nagkataon lang that the priest that got me was hard of hearing and that was my experience and it was traumatic for me. We, had a diff we have a difficulty of making it easy for people to come back to the Lord. Diba? Kaya hindi natin alam kung paano. Ang labas tuloy ang yabang natin. Or tayo nagiging righteous. Do you get me? When I say righteous, yung bad na righteous. Ha? Yung parang nagyayabang ka. That I'm right, you're wrong. All right? Brothers and sisters, remember, righteousness, it's, it's not supposed to be being right. Righteousness is doing right. All right? Galing, no? Tapos may all right ako. Yes. Yes. Okay? Tapikin ng katabi, pakisabi, nuggets mo yun. So I hope you got that. We want to bring more people to the Lord, we also want to go back to the Lord. But understand this, it's quite difficult, all right? Because many people, when they have repentance, and the thing ng repentance, ganito. Let's all show that, yan. It's an emotional guilt trip. Laran na dito sa Pilipinas. Our kind of Catholicism seems to be geared towards guilt. Di ba? Parang makonsedya ka naman. Ganyan, di ba? Parang yung ganyan. All right? Ang tingin tuloy, by... If we want a person to repent, we need to make the person guilty. Diba? No, nangongonsensya tayo. Alright? And therefore, that's a problem. Because what happens is this. Let's show the next slide. What happens is this. We think that God is angry and I am awful. Are you following? Yun yung feeling ko nung lumabas ako ng confessional. I didn't feel the mercy of God. I felt the condemnation of God. And I felt I was so wrong. I was so impure. Right? Kasi nga, hindi klaro yung pagdal, dat, pagdala nat, 
pagdala kay Lord. All right? Are you following? So if you want to bring people closer to God, we should not go by this. We should not go by fear and shame. Eh, ang Pinoy, ang hilig dyan. Di ba? No? Kunyari, gusto natin mag, magbago yung tao. Oh, mabubulok ko na sa impyerno. Ganyan, di ba? Or let's say, let's say, religious na yung tao. Ikaw, ang pumako kay Jesus. <laughs> yung mga ganyan, yung mga ganyan, guilt trip, ganyan. No? Tignan mo ang mukha ni Jesus. Yung mga ganyan. So, that may work in some context, but sometimes, the problem with that is that it just makes you guilty. And then, that's, does it last? What do you think? Does it last? The conversion that you get? People will change because they get guilty. They, they will change because they're afraid. They don't want to go to hell. But do you think that will last? That they will change? Friends, most likely, it will not last because fear and shame will only have its effect on a short period of time. All right? Example, I came from Baguio, and you know that in Baguio, there was this killer earthquake, right? Oh my gosh. I tell you, the first year after the killer earthquake, sino dito na experience niyan? Who experienced or who felt the earthquake of the 1990? Kung buhay pa kayo niyan. So some, there, no? All right. I tell you, during that time, everyone went to the cathedral. Everyone, konting konting galaw lang. Ay, Lord, Lord, Lord. Ganun na agad. Kaya inis-inis ako sa mga taong pag nakaupo, tapos gumaganyan. Ano niyo ba yun? Yung ganyan. Kasi automatic, yung, pag na-experience mo ang earthquake, pag narinig mo yun, talagang magugulat ka eh. Ganyan. Tapos, Lord, grabe, for at least a year or two years, people were so devout in Baguio. People were kneeling, people were praying. Grabe conversion. But after the third year, na na, back to normal. Because fear and shame will only last for a short time. Love, on the other hand, will last longer. Because what is the truth? Ask me what? It is this. Everybody read. Only love changes people. Only love. So if you want to convert people, use love, not fear, not, not shame. You may get immediate results, but it will not last. When the cat is away, the mouse will play. Do you follow? All right? So, brothers and sisters, so here, I'd like to share with you what Bo um, posted in his social media. Let's show it. Let's all read it. Is it destroying you? Give it up. Love yourself. Allow in your life only the stuff that makes you better. What do you think is Brother Bo referring to here? What do you think? Bilang Pebrero na, love month, malapit na ang Valentine. Some people might think that Bo was referring to what? Your boyfriend or your girlfriend who is hurting you. Give him up. Give her up. Pwede yon. Pwede naman. It can be. But what is Bo actually referring to here? What do you think? It, belongs, uh, it begins with the letter S. Got it. Good job. So he was actually referring to sin because it is really sin that destroys us at the end. It is sin that, that takes life out of us. And so, brothers and sisters, as I now, as we, we come to this talk, I'd like to, to tell you that if we want to bring a person closer to God and abandon his or her sin, we need to show first what's the first step. Ask me, what's the first step? Go. Here, appeal to self-interest. Appeal to self-interest. Anong ibig sabihin? Bago mo sabihin, uy, mag-repent ka or bumalik ka kay Lord, ipakita mo na sa, muna sa tao kung paano hindi maganda yung kasalanan na yan para sa kanya. Show the person that it's not for his self-interest for him to engage in the sin. Are you following? For example, yung gambling na yan, instead of saying, mali yan, kasalanan kay Lord yan, sabihin mo sa kanya, ano na kukuha mo dyan? Diba? Tingnan mo nangyayari. Right? 
sa'n kukuha ng pera para sa pamilya mo? Ano mangyayari kung itutuloy mo ito? Ano mararamdaman mo? Ano mangyayari sa pamilya mo? Do, do you get it? You let the person realize first that sin in itself, not for anything else, is what? Is hurting him. It's not good. It's your problem. Let it go. Do you get it? In one of the talks before, we said sin in itself, it's its punishment. The sin in itself is already a punishment. You don't need to wait for a punishment. If you can engage in that sin, it's already a punishment. Una, mawawalan ka ng dignidad. Tapingin ang katabi, pakisabi, are you following? <laughs> Answer, I hope so, I hope so. That's the first step. What's the second step? Ask me what? The second step is, after you make the person realize that it's not helping him, that's the time you introduce God. You introduce God's love. You introduce what it means if it's better for him to go to God's love. Why? Because sin is actually our yearning for true love, for true grace, for true blessing, for true goodness. What's the sin? The sin is false love, false grace, false blessing. Akala natin the money will satisfy us. Akala natin the, the attention, the fame will satisfy us. Akala natin the sex, the, the pleasure, the bodily pleasure will satisfy us. But it's only what? Temporary, right? It will not fill up that void in your heart. But God's love will. It's God who can give purpose, give meaning to your life more than all of these things. Are we getting through? Yes? All right. So that's the next step that you need to do. Sabi nga ni Brother Arun, lugi ka. Kung magka magkakasala ka, lugi ka. Diba? Dehado ka. But if you go to the real value, real value of going to God, then you'll get it. Remember, everybody, let's all read this. Every call to repentance must come from a place of mercy. We don't call people to repent just because we want them to be right. No. Or to tell them na mali sila. No. We want them to come because we love them. We come from compassion. Everybody say compassion. Look at the person beside you. Compassionate ba yan? Ayan. Halos walang sumagot. Marang, yes. Ayan. I have a question. Ask me what? Is John the Baptist compassionate? <laughs> For many people, in the description of John the Baptist, when you imagine him, he's like this hairy, scary guy. All right? This angry guy. Diba? Ganyan. But I'd li like the priest in the confessional. <laughs> no, parang ganon. But brothers and sisters, I'd like to tell you, that he was just like that because of the guts of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. The Pharisees and the Sadducees were very proud. May kakilala ba kayong ma-pride? Yung huling huli na siyang mali siya, pero ma-pride pa rin. Di ba? O, wag nyo nang tignan ng mga katabi ninyo. No? Di ba? Nakakainis yung mga ganyan. Ang tawag na, ni John the Baptist, ito. What did he call them? You brood of snakes. Grabe. Tuloy, ang tingin kay John the Baptist, ano? Ito, tough. Right? Diba? Ang tingin kay John the Baptist, tough. Eh, kay Jesus, anong tingin natin kay Jesus? Jesus is what? Gentle. Diba? Parang ang bait-bait niya. But the truth is this. Nawala tuloy yung Moses. My God. What is it? Ask me what? Both John the Baptist and Jesus were tough and gentle. Why? Ask me why? Because love is both tough and gentle. Right? Love is both tough and gentle. Yeah, let's give a hand to the Lord. That's true. <laughs> Friends, maybe you're so used to that love is always gentle. No, love can also be tough. Sometimes that's what you need so that you wake up. Tignan your partner nyo. Kailangan ba yun ng tough love? Yun yung ginawa ni John the Baptist. John the Baptist called them again. What did he call the Pharisees? Para magising sila. You brood of snakes. And if you think that Jesus was so gentle, no, think again. Because remember, Jesus got angry, right? He got angry in the temple. And what did he say also? He said also these things. He said, brood of snakes also in Matthew. And he said, you are like whitewashed tombs. All right? Tombstones. Para kang ano? Lapida. <laughs> Para kayo mga lapida. Alright? Ano, ang ganda-ganda sa labas, pero nasa loob ninyo, bulok. 
Tignan nyo ang katabi ninyo. Mukha ba yung lapida? <laughs> Brothers and sisters, oh, wag, wag judgmental, wag judgmental. Brothers and sisters, Jesus was tough, but He was also gentle. Look at this, these pictures. He was gentle to what? The Samaritan woman. The lady who was caught with adultery, right? To Zacchaeus, the one, the small guy from the tree. And finally, he was also very compassionate to this, what? Other thief hanging on the cross who suddenly became the first saint when he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And what did Jesus say? Today you will be with me in paradise. Jesus was ah, compassionate also. What do we observe then? Ask me what? It is this. Everybody read. When Jesus called the proud to repent, he was tough. But when he called everyone else to repent, he was gentle. So what do we need? Ask me what? Discernment. Discernment. Everybody say discernment. Does this person need gentle love? Or does this person need tough love? Are you listening? If we want to be John the Baptist to everybody, we need to be discerning. Hindi lahat gentle love. Hindi lahat tough love. Depende ko anong kailangan nung tao. I believe most people are hurting. Most people need compassion. Because if there's one person who is guilty, that's us. Pag nagkamali tayo, tayo nakakaalam niyan. Do you get me? Kaya pa minsan, pag nagkamali na isang tao, tama na, wag mo nang, yung mga iba kasi, dinadagdagan pa eh. Alam mo yun? No? Dinadagdagan pa. Kasi, ikaw kasi, ba't mo ikaw kasi, ikaw kasi. Eh, alam na alam na nga niya, siya nang kamali. So, the person needs what? Gentle love. Pero may mga iba, ang kakapal na mukha. Hindi tinatablan ng hiya. May kakilala ba kayong ganyan? Yan. Kailangan tough love. Kaya yun. But friends, ito mga taon to, konti lang yan. Konti lang yan. Brothers and sisters, we need to grow in wisdom. Everybody say wisdom. So that we will know how to rea react to people. So, John the Baptist, as I've said, was also gentle. Alright? This is the last part of my talk. He is gentle because he was able to what? He was able to say a message that was both tough and gentle. Now, let me share with you this. This is the most Bible study part of our talk. Are you ready? Take a deep breath. Matthew quoted John the Baptist. Ready? Uh, I'm sorry. Matthew talked about John the Baptist and quoted what? Isaiah. Ito na naman tayo. Old Test New Testament author quoting an Old Testament writer. And according to Matthew, the audience, sino only ang audience? Who's the audience of Matthew? The Jews. The Jews understood the Old Testament. So when Matthew will quote Isaiah, he understood that all these people also understood the whole of Isaiah. Alright? Now, let's continue. Matthew quoted Isaiah. Here, let's all read the verse. The prophet Isaiah was speaking about John when he said, he is a voice shouting in the wilderness, prepare the way for the Lord's coming, clear the road for him. So, all right, this, all right, this is a quote from Isaiah. But remember, this is a verse from what? What verse? Verse 3. You know what is the quote on verse 1 and 2? Remember, this quote seems to be what? A strong quote. This is what Matthew quoted, right? Prepare the way of the Lord. He is the voice shouting in the wilderness. But very strong. But verse 1 and 2 says quite a different tone. Let's all read that verse. Everybody, could you read? Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem. Tell her that her sad days are gone and her sins are pardoned. Do you see the difference of verse 1 and 2 in verse 3? Verse 3 was tough, but verse 1 and 2 were gentle. John the Baptist 
was also gentle. God is also gentle. And why are we sharing this, brothers and sisters? Ask me why. Because he's trying to say to all of us, God is merciful. God will love you, will give you gentle love. But, everybody say, but, if you're proud, what do you think will he give you? What? Tough love. I don't know with you, ano mas gusto nyo? Gentle love ni Lord o tough love ni Lord? <laughs> Tapikin nyo ang katabi ninyo, pakisabi, anong hinihintay mo? <laughs> Di ba? Huwag mo nang hintayin yung tough love ni Lord. Punta ka na kay Lord habang ang binibigay ni Lord gentle love. Who needs God's mercy here? Grabe, biglang dumami talaga, Lord, Lord. Natakot na eh, no? Lord, Lord. Di ba? In the midst of everything that's happening, yeah? January pa lang. Isang katutak ng trahedya ang nangyayari sa atin. Brothers and sisters, don't wait. Come to the Lord now. If today you hear His voice, harden not your heart. Yeah. I'd like to end with this. Brother Bo had a priest friend, and his name is this, Father John Sherlock. I was fortunate enough that when he was alive, I had confession, I think, with him. And what I remember of him, I don't remember what I confessed, but I remember him praying for me. Loving me in the confession. Ang yung parang tatay na tatay. And true enough, Brother Bo, pag nag retreat siya, he will give the talk, but Father Sherlock will be in a corner getting confession. People will line up, and you will notice the people, they're crying. And you will notice his wrinkled hand tapping the shoulder of these persons and really showing the gentle love of God. But you will also notice that he will not only treat the gentle, uh, the treat, treat the repentant people with gentle love. He will even treat the, let's say, the hardened sinner with tough love. Ask me how. You know, fortunately, Father Sherlock had the gift of knowledge. He knew your sins before you would confess them. Oh my God. <laughs> so what happens is that if a person who was not really repentant or who will keep the sin, he will go to Father Sherlock and confess the sin. But he will keep one thing. Father Sherlock will tell the sin. Oh my God. Tapigin nyo ang katabi nyo. Pakisabi, do you want to confess to Father? <laughs> but Father is in heaven already. Alright? God rest his soul. But friends, parang Padre Pio, no? Yung papasok ka pa lang, sasabihin na yung kasalanan mo. Because sometimes we need tough love. Can I be tough with you? Could we all stand? What will you do with us, Brother Jay? May na akong ipapakitang picture. Ito. For some people, your reaction just shows the feeling of a lot of people. Why? Because in, in, in just a very quick, quick and sudden incident, this famous guy alongside with his daughter just ended their monumental and powerful life. Now, I don't know with you, but aside from the hurt probably of the fans of Kobe, he, he showed us that life is short. And no amount of fame, no amount of money, or even age can tell us na our life will be this long. No. Anytime, life can end. Alongside with all the things that are happening right now, brothers and sisters, life is short. And so we need to number our days aright. We need to value every moment we have. Now is all we have. We're not even sure of the future. 
And that's why, brothers and sisters, as we end this, 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 this talk and as we come to worship, I'd like to invite you. Is the Lord calling you now? Calling you to come to Him and to receive His love. The word repentance seems to be very strong. But repentance just basically is a call back to God. They say it is a 180 degree turn, hindi 360. Ah. Maraming tao nagkakamali yun yun. Grabe experience ko, 360 degree turn. And 360 degree turn, a whole round yun. Bumalik ka rin, no? If you want a change, the change has to be 180. In other words, what? A total opposite. So if you're going towards sin, you turn back against that sin and you go back to the Lord. You go back to Jesus. Brothers and sisters, in this talk, I showed you gentle love. God is calling you back. A while ago, the person I was giving LST to got a, got a message from the Lord. And the message said this, come to me, all you who are heavily burdened, and I will give you rest. And maybe that's speaking to any one of you who is now tired, who is now having difficulty. Yes, you know, are you in that phase? You're, you're, you're so tired, you're, so, you're, you're lost, and you need guidance, you need God's mercy. God is telling you, no matter, come, come. Let me give you rest. Let me give you healing. Let me give my forgiveness. I will give it to you. You don't need to be afraid. Come to me. But today also we're saying we're giving it tough love. Have you postponed your conversion for long, for so long already? Are you always saying, in due time, babalik ka kay Lord. Pag may oras ako, babalik kay Lord. Later na ako, babalik kay Lord. Look at Colby. Look at this father and daughter. Just thank God they went to Mass before they entered that helicopter. But friends, don't wait. For some people in Taal, they never knew that that was happening. That will happen. It just, it just happened. So friends, don't wait. Don't wait. This is a lesson that tells us, let's stop being foolish. Let's stop being proud. Let's stop not forgiving because at the end of the day, we need to forgive. We need to forgive. I also am a builder in Ortigas, in Feast Valley Verde. And just last week, a servant of ours, long standing, more than, I think, more than eight years, had been serving the music ministry. He died suddenly. Aneurysm. Bigla na lang siya namatay. Pumutok, tas namatay na siya. He was 38 years old. He was a runner. We couldn't believe it. He just died. And during the wake, Father Larry Faron said, um, Carlos did not leave us. He is always with us. Wala naman siyang rason kung bakit siya aalis. He is with us. Tapos na-realize ko, o nga no, pati yung patay, nananampalataya. Tuloy ang relasyon natin sa kanila. Buti na lang katoliko tayo. Naniniwala tayo na kahit patay na yung tao, may relasyon pa rin tayo. We still love, we still care for one another. Funny, kung yung patay nga, hindi pa rin hiwalay sa atin. How foolish of us in this life na ipaghihiwalay natin yung mga tao na buhay pa. Feeling natin, hindi na natin sila kaugnayan. Are you, get, are you getting what I'm trying to say? Some of us live in anger. We cut off people in our life. Buhay pa naman sila, nandito pa rin naman sila. Akala natin, wala na. E kung yung patay nga, konektado pa rin. Brothers and sisters, have you been cut off to the Lord or with the Lord? Come back to Him right now. Part of coming back to the Lord is fixing our relationships. Kamusta sa mga relasyon nyo? Sa pamilya, sa kaibigan, sa ibang tao. If you really believe in Jesus, you really want to believe in the Lord, you really want to come to the Lord, come clean, brothers and sisters. Receive His mercy now. Make that choice. Don't wait. Don't postpone your forgiveness. Don't postpone your healing. Don't postpone your love. Don't postpone your life. 
as we sing this song, Canvas and Clay, or rather, what's our song? I receive, I give. I'd like you to receive the mercy of God and be ready to show mercy to other people. At the same time, when we sing the the next song, let the Lord just reform you. Who wants new life here? Amen. Who wants a new era in your life? Yes? Yes? Tapikin ang katabi kung tumasang kamay pag sabi sigurado ka. If you want a new era, you need to end the old era. Are you hearing? What will you end right now? Will you make a decision now? And follow the Lord. Bow down your head, close your eyes, put your hand in your chest and say this with me. Lord Jesus, thank you for blessing me with your mercy. Thank you for receiving me as I am. Forgive me, Lord. I come back to you. Heal me. Save me. Give me new life. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Brothers and sisters, come to the Lord right now. Are you ready to worship? Yes? I'd like to open your heart, open your arms if that is comfortable for you. As we sing this song, the Lord is here welcoming you now. Come to the Lord. Receive His mercy.
lift it up, brothers and sisters, from the heart. The Lord hear you. tonight, Father. We'd like to see what you're working on in our lives, Father. We'd like to see your dreams for us. Allow us to see with your eyes, with your vision, Father. Allow us to see the end goal. Allow us to see what you have been doing for us, Father. Yes, Lord. For we know that you make all things for your good, Father. Jesus, thank you for your mercy. I claim your salvation. I claim your forgiveness. I claim your blessing also, Lord. And so I declare that all my dreams will come true. In Jesus' name, amen. Give a hand to the Lord, everybody. Let us worship. 
worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lift it up. God's mercy, you know how? Ask me what? Magpamahal kayo. Pakisabi sa katabi, magpamahal ka naman. And therefore, kung may magpamamahal, merong magmamahal. Amen? Are you ready to love the people around you? Yes? In your family, when you go out, yes? And so with that, brothers and sisters, we're done with the very first talk of our new series, Dawn of the New Era. Will you be here next week? Yes, please come a little bit earlier so that we can share, we can eat together. For those who still have one more song as an ending, you can just sing with us and you can also stay a little bit so that we can chit-chat with one another. Please join our LGs, join the ministries. Until next week, God bless you and I'll see you next week. All right, for one last time, because our God is not finished with us yet, we have the courage to believe that He is good and that He is doing all things for our good and for our great lives. Amen. And so tell your seatmates, magpamahal ka, because our God is good. Come on, we're together. All together now. The short sightedness of my vision often hinders me to see your plans for me.
servants. Again, calling all servants, please proceed near our.